right now. In fact, we have to deal with resources drying up. We have to deal with the loss of some loved ones that we didn't think we would lose. Yeah. We have to deal with things going toxic and turbulent in our life. We have to deal with things that begin to fall apart in our life. But I believe tonight that we all have the same testimony. And that testimony tonight is, is that even though we were put in a dark place, on, now, right, preacher. even though we were put in a place of despair and uh -huh. chaos, God still was with us. Amen. Amen. I believe tonight that even though we may not have what we want to have, Come on. Even though we may not be where we want to be, I still believe that the Lord is still with us. Amen. Amen. All of us can testify tonight that there are some things that we just are dealing with even right now. Come mm -hmm. on. There's some things that we're going through, whether it be sickness in our body, whether it be brokenness, whether it be anxiety, whatever you are going through right now, we can all agree and testify to the fact that even though I've been through it, it did not kill me. Amen. Right. But it was only a stepping stone to where God was taking me. Right. Have I got a witness here tonight? Right now. Say, God takes us through certain things in life so yeah. that we can learn Him. I heard him. I heard the psalmist say that I thank God that I had to go through. It was good for me uh -huh. that I had been afflicted, yeah. that I might learn thy statutes. Yes, so right. Anybody here tonight that can say, "I'm glad that God took me through what I had yeah. to go through, yeah. so that I could be a better witness yeah. to God." Oh, I'm glad that I went through what I went through, so that I can testify <laughs> that if it yeah. had not been for the Lord, yeah. who was on my side, I don't yeah. know where I would be tonight. Yeah. That is this man's testimony in John 5 tonight. I believe that's his testimony simply because of what God is doing in his life. Amen. Even Amen. though he's been down for 38 years, the Bible says that one day he comes across the Savior. Well, right. Jesus decides to go into Jerusalem as he's going into Jerusalem for one of the three feasts. The Bible says that he comes to this place called Bethesda. Yeah. The Bible says that Bethesda in Hebrew means means the house of mercy. Right, he right. comes to the house of mercy and as he comes to the house of mercy the Bible says he's there and there are five pools in the house of mercy which yeah. is Bethesda. Right, right. Yeah. And as he's there in Bethesda there are three different folk. There's people who are lame, blind and paralyzed. Right. They're sitting around one of the five pools. The Bible says that as he comes into Bethesda he sings goes out this one man mm -hmm. and he sees this man yeah. who has been yeah. down which the Bible says for 38 years. Right. 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 As he sees this man he decides to come to this man which has been down for 38 years and there's other people around them trying to get to the pool and they're waiting for a troubling of the water. Mm -hmm. See what they didn't understand at that time was when the water was troubled it really wasn't God troubling the water, right. but it That's was right. just materials from the earth getting Come into on. the pool. Uh. So when the water and the earth began to shake, people uh -huh. thought that God was moving the water. Mm -hmm. No, it was just materials getting inside of the pool, and they thought there was some magic going on, on. in the water. I stopped by to tell somebody that we don't serve a God of magic, Come on right now. Come but on. we serve a God of miracles. Yeah. 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 Talk to me tonight. We, we serve a God that do signs, miracles, and wonders. Yeah. God is not in the business of magic, yeah. but yeah. he's in the business of miracles. Yes, so like it, tonight, it wasn't magic that woke you up this Come morning. On, yeah, it nah. wasn't magic that put money in your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't magic that put food in your refrigerator. Come on, Come on, on. Come on. It wasn't magic that put clothes on your back, but it was by the divine grace of God yeah. that God did what he did in spite of what you were. Yeah. And I thank God
God tonight that God still looks beyond my faults and oh, yes. sees every last one of my needs. Come on, God. Come it on. was not magic, but it was miracle that God decided to send Jesus by this man. Preacher. And just by having God send Jesus by this man, and when Jesus gets to this man, he asks this man one question. He asks him, he says, Wilt thou be made whole? Oh, yeah. He says, Will you be made whole? Three little things tonight, and I'm getting out your way. The first thing the text shows us is that God gives us offers and not options. All right, yeah. God gives us offers and not options. What do you mean, Pastor, that God gives us offers and not options? He asks this man, will thou be made whole? All right. yeah. See, a lot of times we shout off of the word whole in the text, uh -huh. but the real word in the text is made. made. Yeah. Go back to John chapter 1, the Bible yeah. says in John 1 in the prologue, it says, in the beginning was yeah, the Word, and the Word yeah. was God, and the yeah. Word was oh, with yeah. God, and the Word was made go ahead, go ahead. flesh. Yeah. Yeah, what Jesus was saying was, he was asking the man, he says, do you want to be made like me? Come because on. if you want to be made like me, that just means that the Father created me. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to be like me, you got to be just like the Father. Come on. So anybody here, they can say, every day of my life, I'm striving to be what God wants me to be. No matter what people say yeah. about me, no matter how they look at me, I will be what God has yeah. called me. Yeah. The Bible says that He made me spiritually and wonderfully. Yeah. I wish I had a witness. Come on, they can say, I don't desire to be like Mama. I don't desire to be like Daddy, but I want to be like God Almighty, yeah. the Creator of heaven. Yeah. And I don't know how you feel about it tonight, but I thank God every day that He keeps His hand. On me. Oh, yeah. While he keeps his hand on me, I can be made in the image of God. Yeah. Is anybody here tonight that can say, I want to be made like God? Yeah. I may not be perfect, but I'm striving oh, every day to be like God. Oh, right. I may not have everything, yeah. that I want, but I'm striving to be yeah. like God. Yeah. I may not be what I want to be, but I'm striving to oh, be yeah. like God. The Bible says that he gives this man an offer and not an option. See, sometimes we got too many things around us oh, that yeah. we depend on. We depend on people. We depend on people to pay our bills. We depend on Hell stuff it. to happen in our life. We depend on people on our job. But this man had to learn uh -huh. that he had only one offer. Come on. Yeah. And Come on. that was to depend on God. Uh -huh. yeah. I say, every day I wake up, I thank God. I roll out of my bed yeah. and I yeah. my yeah. floor. And on my knees and say, God, I thank you yeah. for giving me another reasonable yeah. portion of help and strength. Is that anybody right. testimony right. tonight? Like I said, I didn't get here by happenstance. Yeah. I didn't right. get here by somebody oh, giving yeah. me stuff. But I got Come here on, yeah. by right. the grace yeah. of God. Yeah. 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 here tonight. Yeah. Like I, said, I got here by the grace of yeah. God. Yeah. The Bible says it is not by our mercies that we are consumed. Yeah. Yeah. It's by the mercies yeah. of the Lord. Anybody glad about another chance? Yeah. Anybody really yeah. glad that God came by yeah. your street this morning yeah. and he decided yeah. to wake you up one yeah. more time? Yeah. And because he woke you up one more time, you yeah. can give God the best praise yeah. you got. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That he makes this man an offer and not an option. Yeah. The second thing the text shows us is, is that he turns the man's excuses. Uh -huh. Into a, a place experience. He turned the man excuses yeah. into an experience. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He asks the man, he says, Will thou be made whole? Yes, sir. And just like some people I know today, this man decided to give God every kind of excuse. All right. Now. He decided to give Jesus every kind of excuse. He said,